Hey guys, this is Cami, and I'm back with another tip for you. Uh, this week I'm going to show you how to use the ruler tool to straighten a photo or a paper in Photoshop. Sometimes when you're working on a layout, and especially if you're working with a line paper, you might want to rotate your paper to line up with a shape on your template. And you can use the free trans transform tool and rotate the paper to line it up that way, or you can use the ruler tool. I'm going to show you real quick how to rotate some papers to clip to the shapes on this layout by Little Green Frog Designs. This is from her I Love You Infinity template pack. And I am actually going to use some papers from Bella Gypsy Designs Lucky Stars bonus paper pack. They had a lot of fun papers with lines that I thought would um, help me demonstrate this. So. The first thing, I went ahead and pulled the papers in because I wanted to save time, uh, but a quick note, when you pull your papers in, if they come in as smart objects, you'll want to rasterize them because this technique won't work unless they are flattened layers. And I want to align this red uh, striped paper to this uh, title banner on the template. So I'm going to grab my ruler tool, which is actually um, under the grouping in your tool kit um, with the eyedropper tool. So if your, tool, your ruler tool isn't the active tool, you can just pull the window, and, window out and activate it. And it's really easy to use. You're just going to click on one part of your line and drag it to another part and let it go. And uh, now it is measuring the distance and the angle between these two points and that too, it doesn't look exactly straight so I'm going to move it just a little bit and it's saying that the angle is 9.5 degrees so I'm going to turn my paper on and go to edit transform and rotate and because I have the ruler uh, the line selected with the ruler tool the Photoshop knows that I want to align to that angle and it's already um, it saved it and as soon as I hit told it to rotate it, it rotated it to 9.5 degrees and I clipped my paper and now it is lined up with that part, uh, that title banner. Um, I'm gonna show you one more, maybe another one if if my computer wants to work with me. This is like the fourth time I've recorded this and it keeps crashing. Um, this paper, this zigzag paper, I want to align to the this um, this banner right here, but I want the lines to go. Um, I want the lines to stay horizontal, so I am gonna measure along the this line here so that it, it just will tweak it just a little bit but keep my lines running across the paper instead of up and down with the paper. Hopefully that made sense. And um, now I'm going to clip it and now my lines are running um, re it's really nicely across the papers that way and maybe I could get it to do one more. Let's see. Um, this green paper up here, I want to align to the scallops. So, um, but instead of aligning it across like the red paper, I want to align it up and down like the uh, the zigzag paper that I just did. So I'm just going to go top to bottom here on one of these scallops. And then I'm going to rotate it and clip it. And now I have some papers aligned to the shapes. And so if you're like me and you like your lines to be really straight. That is a f quick and easy way to rotate your papers to the shapes. And I also um, want to show you, you can use it to align your photos to photo spots. So I have, uh, this template is photo, 
fiddle-dee-dee designs fuss-free tag your it five and um, I'm going to align this picture to this photo spot right here so I'm going to come in zoom in same thing draw my line across and then turn my picture on and it transform rotate say OK and clip it and now my picture is uh, rotated and lines up with that uh, that photo photo shape and I'm going to do this one again real quick just drag it all across turn this on edit transform rotate OK clip it and there you go. So now I have the same picture um, but it's uh, lined up with the different photo spots in the template. So hopefully that um, that's a helpful tip for you guys and um, you'll find it useful and I will be back again soon with another tip.